morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time this is catching you. It is great to be talking to you all. Finally, spring break is over, and it is Monday, April 6th. Let's go ahead and get started with today's work. All right, so I'm going to head on into today's class. So as you can see, I already put everything in here, and you can open up the turn-in document, because that's where you'll find today's presentation, and you'll find the worksheet that you'll be filling out today. All righty. Uh, so let's go ahead and start things off with a question of the day, all right? Um, as you can see, I've added a table of contents here at the top. Hopefully that'll make uh, things a little better for you, um, just so you can see kind of the game plan for the day. So today's question of the day is, how was your spring break? What was the best part? With the same circumstances, if you could redo spring break, how would you do it differently? Would you do anything differently? I know um, I, spring break was pretty intense for me. I know for, uh, for me yesterday, I gave myself a haircut. That was pretty, um, pretty much pretty close to the best part of the week for sure. Uh, but go ahead and answer this question. When you're done answering the question, you need to respond to somebody. And if you do not respond to somebody, you will not get credit. I said it. You have to respond to somebody. All right. And... Uh, what did you say? You put, post what you said here. It's because I'm seeing some really lame responses and um, I don't want to give credit to people who give lame responses. So um, please write down what you said here as well. Go ahead and pause this video and come on back when you're ready. All right. Uh, after that, I have some announcements. All right. Uh, some big announcements. As you can see, the grading period um, ends on Wednesday. Um, grades have been updated since uh, for since Friday, and some of you have had your grades for a while, but many people have not made up their Christ Commanded essay or their mural description, all right? This is bringing your grade down. You can still make it up, but I have to turn in my grades by April 8th, all right? Um, tomorrow, I'm going to have more announcements about grading and changes to the course. It's because I have a department meeting at 1.30 today, so I'll let you know what we talk about at that meeting, all right? And just so you know, the, mid, the magazine project is still due. All right, it's still due. Today's game plan is we're going to practice fixing grammar errors, and then we're going to review West Africa a bit with a short reading, and then you're going to have a, a discussion. All right, but let's start things off with grammar. All right, here's what you're going to do. There are three sentences here. Your job is to fix each sentence. All right. So you could copy it and paste it over here. You could rewrite it, but you need to put the complete fixed sentence here. All right, so that's for number one. That's for number two and number three. Then you're going to highlight all this. You're going to copy it all. You're going to head over to Google Classroom, and you're going to post under the spot that says Grammar Answers. You're going to then post your answers here. All right, post your answers here and see what everybody else got. And if any of yours is incorrect, you need to fix it. And if you don't know if yours is incorrect, but you see somebody's that looks more correct, you can ask them, hey, I don't know if this is right. I wrote it like this. Go ahead and do that, all right? But I will not give you credit if you give me incorrect sentences. It's your job to figure out how to make them correct, all right? And then you have to write something in the box here. Did you check to see if they, you were correct, all right? But if these sentences are incorrect, I'm not gonna give you credit. All right, so make sure you're making sure these sentences are correct. All right, go ahead and pause the video and then come on back when you're done with that. Go. All right, the next thing that we've got planned is the African discussion notes. All right, here's what you're going to do. You're going to read and take notes on just the first paragraph. All righty, uh, just the first paragraph. All right, and then after that, you're gonna use your notes to have a discussion on Google Classroom. So this is really cool because this is where you get to play with ideas, right, and create ideas. And this is what historians do in their writing, all right? So remember the purpose of your notes is to use your notes to have a discussion, all right? It's not gonna be with your table, but it's gonna be a digital discussion, all right? I'm gonna write digital here. Um, I'm gonna model 
with the first three sentences of what your notes should look like. Alrighty? But you have to finish the rest of the setting. Alright? So here are the notes. Okay. So first part it said is trade was essential to empires of West Africa. So what I wrote is trade important to West Africa. And then I'm like, then I read the next part. It affected the rise and fall of each empire because of the people's dependence on it to acquire and sell goods. So then I wrote people depended on acquiring goods. But I had a question. I wanted to know why. Is it because of the geography? I know we talked about the Sahara, but why are people so dependent on, require, on acquiring goods? Then it wrote, uh, then it says, this linked West African cities with Europe and the Middle East and also allowed them to trade for different resources native to other areas of Africa. So then I wrote, uh, linked Africa with Europe and the Middle East. So then I'm starting to think, what did Africa really need from Europe and the Middle East? All right. So now you're going to take notes on the rest of the setting. Where can you find the reading? There's two places where you can find the reading. In your notes, you can, in your uh, document, you can click on this to get the reading. Remember, you're just doing the setting, which is just this paragraph right here. All right. And then after that, uh, you're going to take notes right here. All right. But if you also want to find the reading too, you can also click on the reading here. It's the same link. Okay. Go ahead and read and take notes. Take the notes above this horizontal line. You won't get credit unless you take notes. Ready, set, go. Okay. So you finish taking notes. Now what you're going to do is have a discussion on Google Classroom. But we got to put some ground rules down. All right. First ground rule is questions are encouraged. If somebody asks a question, please don't put down the question, all right? Answer it, be kind, be respectful, be compassionate, all right? Also, treat each post with respect, all righty? You all know we have a bunch of different levels of learners in, in class, all right? So please treat each post with respect, all right? If you're gonna criticize anything, criticize the ideas, not individuals. Alrighty, ideas and not the individuals. And the last and kind of really important is please write as completely as possible. All right, try not to use acronyms or abbreviations or like slang or, or any of that stuff to make sure that everybody knows what you're talking about. Alrighty, so in this discussion, please don't say like FYI or um, you know lol or any of that stuff. Use complete words. This says the same thing right here. Okay. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to reflect because you have to post your reflection and then people are going to discuss. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to reflect on what you have read by answering the following questions. All right. What is something that you did not know that you learned here? All right. Key thing, by the way, you don't have to answer all the questions. You only need to uh, answer a minimum of two. You're going to write your answer right here. How could you relate what you have learned to the present today? All right. What is a question you have about uh, what the reading was talking about? Or what is an opinion that you have from the reading? Okay. So uh, write your response here. And come back to the video when you're done. All right. The next part is you're going to post your response, your discussion reflection in to Google Classroom, all right? And it's called, right here it says, African Reflection Discussions, all right? So you're going to grab one or more of your discussion responses from above, and then you're gonna paste it into the Google Classroom question. Then you're gonna respond to two people in one of the following ways. You can either politely disagree with somebody, you can ask questions, you can paraphrase what somebody has said, or if you think of a different way that you can respond, you can also respond differently there. You must respond to two people, two, all right? So two of these boxes needs to be filled out or one box needs to be filled out twice, 
All righty, that's really important because that's how you're going to get credit for this discussion. All righty. Last but not least, uh, I want to give you time to work on your history magazine project. Your third paragraph is due Wednesday, April 8th, meaning that's your potentially for many of you, your second to last paragraph. Then after that, uh, you can find somebody to check your work, peer edit your work. Okay. Also, please, I forgot to say this, check your grade, make up any work. All the writing is in Google Classroom. Email me when it's fixed. And yes, you can make it up. Yes, you can. All right. Um, also, contact your lead editor. A lot of lead editors don't have your History Magazine complete doc. Make sure you give that to them so that they can take a look. All right. Uh, very, very important. And some due dates here at the bottom. Your third paragraph is due on Wednesday. All the writing, though, should be done by Monday. That's one week from today. All right. Then you're going to be in the editing phase. All right. So you should have your four to five paragraph history magazine article ready by Monday for editing. Then I'm going to give you about two, three days uh, to edit and find an image because, as we all know, magazines have pictures in them. And last but not least, the final project, at least to get a four, is going to be due on April 17th. Alrighty, and I will let you know any changes to that after today. That's the plan for today, all right, everybody? Have a great day. Take care. I hope you had a great spring break, and we will all talk very, very soon. All right, take care, and enjoy.